Hi, my name is Dr. Mahesh Kudyal and welcome to my live page. Today I shall talk about the neurology and new surgery, but before that, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am a senior consultant neurosurgeon working in CMI Hospital, Dehradun. I did my graduation, which is called MBBS from King George's Medical College, Lucknow, and then did MS General Surgery which is a basic requirement to do a higher studies in the neurosurgery. MCH in neurosurgery, which is known as a higher studies or super specialization was done from Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences, Lucknow. Now, it is basically a study of nervous system, which includes body parts, brain, spinal cord and nervous system. Uh, as we all know that you need to do a basic graduation that is MBBS followed by MS in general surgery to be eligible for MCH course in neurosurgery. Brain, spinal cord and peripheral nerves. So, you, you have to have that knowledge which you have gained in your MBBS and in graduation. But if you know more about the anatomy or the physiology of the brain and nervous system, brain and spinal cord, uh, along with the clinical knowledge also. And for that you have to read few books. Uh, at graduation level, you have uh, like in the neurology, the neurology part you can read from the Davidson. Uh, in surgical uh, group, you can read surgical part from the uh, Love and Bailey. And if you want to little to acquire little more knowledge, you can read Adams neurology, where the neurology is given very detailed. Uh, so uh, you have to have like besides other subject, you have to focus more on the knowledge of brain and spinal cord, the peripheral nerves, which is asked in most of these intensive examinations. With this, uh, you are supposed to know the diagnostic of diagnosis is made in like first you make a clinical diagnosis. You examine a patient for that you need to know about the what are the different signs, what a disease, how is the disease present, what is the history and then you make a clinical diagnosis which is just on you, what, what you see in the patient, what you observe in the patient. Fortunately, I can I can see that if you are a neurologist and neurosurgeon, the people they come to know of you, they will find you from wherever you are practicing. So there are some positive things. The people they recognize you, they give you respect. Even everybody see you with a with a very you know high respect that this person is a neurosurgeon. Obviously, there's immense satisfaction. You know, there are limited neurosurgeons, so uh, you will be in high demand. When I did my neurosurgery way back in 1992. Then there were only 400 neurosurgeons all over the India. And when I came down to Dehradun, this, I was catering to the population from right from the Meerut in Western UP to the Shimla in Himachal Pradesh. Start little late, late in the sense because it is a 24 hour job. So I start around 10 in the morning. I come to the hospital. There are usually 30, 40 patients admitted. We take round and round takes itself around 1 to 2 hours. And uh, then we do OPD. OPD means this is an outpatient department where you see patient coming to your OPD. And uh, depending on your how many surgeries are scheduled, you take patient on the, that day. Uh, if you have more surgery, you take less patient. If you have less surgery, you take more patient. But usually you end up doing your OPD at five. So uh, I should not suggest that you should do your lunch at five. But then that is a usual thing which I do. I go for lunch at four thirty or five. And then after one hour, again I have to come back, do my rest of the OPD and then do surgery. Surgery, surgical time is not fixed. We do surgery in the morning also. Sometimes there is emergency, we start at 6 or 7 in the morning, finish it till 10, 10.30. And then in the afternoon also, sometimes we start 3 and then fix it, finish it at 6 p.m. And if there is a long case, some neurosurgery, most of the people they know, sometimes you have to spend 8 hours or 10 hours on a single operation. And then usually we take it in the evening at around 6 and finish in the middle, uh, in the midnight. And you get call all over the night. There is no time that you say that, no, I am not available. Your patient becomes sick in the middle of night at 2 a.m. in the morning or 4 a.m. in the morning, you have to come to the hospital. So it is the 24 hours involvement. And uh, I am not saying that is always scary, but uh, you must come someday, spend a day with me or with, with any neurosurgeon and uh, maybe you get some people they get influence. I know few people who work with me as a junior doctor 
as a <coughs> general surgeon, as a as a graduate, and they they were so influenced, they were so motivated that they now they are now neurosurgeon. So it is not always bad. It is sometimes good to see working a person twenty four hours. Finally, I hope that I have been able to give you a understanding of neurology and neurosurgery. How to become a good neurosurgeon or neurologist? What are the basic requirements? And uh, what all you are required to do to become a neurosurgeon or neurologist? Thank you.